Welcome back. We're here to talk about the crash of the RV market. RV market is now crashing. That means there's a ton of RVs for sale, so you can get a deal on RVs like right now, especially before Christmas. Interest rates are high, so RVs are going to not sell as much as they were before, 21, 22. See, in 21 and 22, there's a lot of people that bought RVs, okay? Travel trailers, Class A's, they're dumping them right now. Every call I go on, because we do RV repair, Camper Pros, Bostick, North Carolina, by Charlotte, between, in between Charlotte and Asheville. Every third call I go to, someone's calling me up to fix the RV because they're selling it. Think about the numbers. Think about what I'm saying. Every couple calls, every other call, every third call, I, every third call I go to, someone's selling their RV. That tells me that the market is washed. It's done. The explosion of people buying RVs is done. They're not, it's not there anymore. So that means you can get a deal on RVs right now. I think it's going to get worse where they're going to sell more and more. And yet people are still living them in full time. And we do a lot of full timers we, we take care of. But I'm pretty sure the market's going to drop even worse than it already is. Just like the car market. These Ford Lightnings, these uh, Ford and Chevy, they're, they're, they can't sell their electric cars. Everything's slowing down because of a thing called interest rates. Interest rates are high. People stop buying. It's the way it works. The Fed will stop will, will stop the craziness that's been going on the last two, two three years, and they're going to put a halt on it, and they're doing a darn good job of it. All they got to do is bring the interest rates up, crash. It's just like that. For us, we're still not busy. We're doing we're we're, we're not we're not slammed. It's middle of winter. I mean, it's cold. We're still making money, which is good. So if you want to buy an RV right now, it's a good time to buy one because they're cheap and uh, you can negotiate. There's so many for sale. You can wheel and deal, and that's what you should do. You shouldn't. You should tire kick because you have the opportunity and chance to do it. A couple years ago, you couldn't even find an RV. Now, there's too many of them. You go shopping, you're like, I don't even know which one to buy. So you can beat them up on the price a little bit. That's what I'm saying. It's a washed out market. Now, on the repair side, it's still pretty busy because people are buying new used RVs and they're not buying new ones because interest rates are so high. So they're buying a used one and they want to fix it up a little bit. So that's where we come in or they want to sell it and they have to fix it up to sell it. It just shocks me how much money someone will put in an RV to sell the RV. Like they'll put a ton of money into it to sell it. It's like, well, be careful guys. You might not, you might not get that money back. Um, but a lot of times, um, that's the most majority of her calls or someone just bought it and they go, oh, I just bought this RV. I know nothing about it. I'm like, oh gosh. Then you get into it. It hasn't been winterized. Everything's popped and they expect you, expect you to work miracles and you can't do that. Then they get sticker shock and they're like, well, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but your water heater's popped. Everything's popped, you know, um, with the ice. So they, everything freezes. Even though RVs are high, they may seem high priced. When you get there, you can negotiate them down because they're not selling. If you go to an RV dealership, you'll see a bunch on the lots. They have full stock now. Go right to their lots. They're full stock everywhere. And that right there tells me that there's a lot available because it's fully stocked. And the, they will negotiate the prices, even though you don't think they will. If you go, Just don't listen to the salesman. Don't walk in the door and say, I'm going to listen to this guy, this freaking fruitcake that, that's trying to sell this RV because he's going to make... You ask any real estate agent right now, the market's hopping. Everything's going just fine and dandy. Everything's high. Everything's selling. I can't keep stuff two weeks on the market. It's gone. A week, it's gone. Maybe for homes, because there's not enough available, but there's a, there's a lot of RVs available, so you can get a good deal now. So if you're going to shop for an RV, I think right now, today, to Christmas is a be really good deal. I think they might hold a little bit this spring. They won't go up, but they'll hold, because when it gets warmer, people start buying RVs naturally. But right now, you're, you're pretty low on RVs. It's, the market's pretty good to buy one. So it's a buyer's market. If you want an RV, go buy one right now. But negotiate. Just don't, don't walk in and say, I'm going to pay the sticker price. Negotiate them down. You got 20 more you can go buy and tell them that. And they know that. So they might want to hold till the spring. At this point, they, some people are holding to the spring. Um, but majority of them want to sell, want to get rid of them. Especially in Christmas. They want the Christmas presents. You know what I mean? People, people are broke. They don't have any money. So right before you spend money right now for write-offs if you're self-employed, number one. And number two is people don't have any money. It's Christmas. They're buying Christmas presents. They're, they're putting up their credit cards. Now's the time to, to buy something, um, a big purchase for a business or something right now. This is when I this is when I start buying stuff. I want to buy a skid steer. I start buying stuff right before tax seasons. I work like crazy. I don't spend a dime during the summer and I start buying stuff. And people don't realize what I'm doing, but I'm buying something when the market's low. Who's going to buy a skid steer in the middle of winter? Yeah, they're, they're still spending money buying them, but not as much um, because the housing's dropped. 
so they're not using them as much for you know prepping for houses um, so they're not being used as much I see more and more for sale and they're starting to come down on the price so if you have any comments put them in, in your prices in your states if you think I'm on track where the RVs are in price and if they're selling now that's a hot market it's a it's a buyer it's a seller's I mean it's a buyer's market it's not a seller's market it's a buyer's so you can get a good deal on buying one so leave in the comments if you have any comments on this subject please leave in the comments that's real important to us like the video at least hit like guys you don't even have to share it just like it at least and we'll see you in the next video